All right, y'all, today we're gonna do portfolio roasting. Do you date tall girls like you? Uh, I don't really care about the girl's height. To me, I'm 6'5", so everything below 6'3 is the same to me. You know what I mean? Like, if a girl is 5'1", or if she's 6'3", it's the same to me. I don't see the difference. I see the top of the head anyway. Why do you look so handsome? I picked the right character loadout when I spawned. You're gonna play the new Pokemon coming out this later this year? Is there a new one? Dude, I haven't played the new Pokemons, I think after Diamond Pearl, to be honest. I feel like it kind of fell off. Like, they've, they've been recycling the same thing over and over again. Pokemon Emerald was great. Pokemon Emerald was the best Pokemon game. Everyone who disagrees with me is wrong. What about Pokemon Go? Uh, Pokemon Go involves you going outside and walking, so that's like, it's kind of hard, you know what I mean? I, I prefer the other ones. I got my housing uh, set for New York. This is not what I'm getting. This is this was one of the options and it's randomized. I wasn't able to get this. Right, this was the best one. It's called AKA Times Square. Right in Times Times Square. I wasn't able to get this, so I'm pretty like upset. But not that much because I think there was one that's even worse than what I got. So I think I got like the middle thing. It looks really nice, right? It looks really nice, and it's in the middle of Times Square. What I got is this one. This is what I have, and it's a bit further away. It's not in like as good as a place. But it's not bad. Not bad, right? Look at this. Not bad. Basically a studio with uh, a bed. And look at this table, bro. Am I going to be working on this? This looks this is like Philip's setup. Like a wooden chair and a shitty table. Like, I can't work on this. I'm also thinking if I import my computer over so I can stream. Like, I can't stream on the MacBook. But yeah, I'll, I'll see. Alright, child. Let's start the roast. Student, writer, and photographer. Ooh. Oh, wow. This guy's not like an actual coder. I'm currently a student in bachelor's program for economics and finance. Yo, this looks really, this, yo, this looks nicer than some of the coder websites we have, including mine. Recent projects. NFTs, oh no. Is this an elaborate plan to make you, make me show your NFT about me? When I was little, I had a fascination with building things. A couple years ago, I looked at pictures of my past creation. I realized that I was a lesson. In that situation, when you understand each person's research project, you will usually be able to make a decision to prove Bro, you just said a whole lot of nothing. I respect it. What's the rating, chat? What, what are you guys rating him? All right, we got some four and got some fives. Okay. 4.5 out of five, then. One out of five for the NFT. But he does have a chat energy, so maybe he deserves more. <laughs> yeah, you guys are voting him based off looks now. <laughs> not bad, dude. Not bad. I'll give it a four out of five. Patrick. This thing moves. Okay, we got some animation. Website is an Angular visit. What just happened? Oh, it's literally this website. Okay. <laughs> this is it's the same website. Okay. Goal football highlights live scores API visit. Okay, so this is another website he made. Okay, so we got a soccer fan or football for you Europeans. Oh, okay, not, not bad. The UI is not bad. Like we, we got some uh, videos Then we got some bars, I guess this is called. We got some dates we can switch around. Oh, we can switch around here with the dates. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. What's the poll looking like? Dang, bro. 20. Dude, this is almost everyone voted five. Who is the one person that voted one? You are actually a troll. Not bad. Let's check out his Twitter. And he does follow me. And he has a picture of Gilfoy. So this guy's uh, probably pretty good. I give this a 5 out of 5, Patrick. Congratulations. What up, Kanak? Are you in chat? I'm an aspiring software engineer with a passion for solving problems. Everyone has this kind of description to the point where this is no longer interesting. If you say, oh, I have an interest in problem solving. I'm enthusiastic. You're contributing success. Everyone has this. You know what I mean? Do you really want to put this... Download CV. 20 hackathons won. Okay, I feel like this is a bit confusing. The UX UI is not the best here. Let's see the skills. Okay, list the languages, database. All right, so here right away, like I would say, don't make this into like, uh, what is this called? Like drop downs. Just show the technologies directly on the screen. Like, why do I have to click? I don't want to click. Okay, I'm lazy. My finger hurts from. Don't make me click. All right, just put it on the screen directly. But this looks good. Prism Research Set. Oh, my boy Kanak. I remember I saw your resume before, Kanak. That's why I saw the name from somewhere. I remember you. Yo, qualifications. It should be jumping to my face, man. Why is this like... I have to scroll down twice and click two buttons. You know what I mean? Like, no one's no one's ever gonna go here, Kanak. Dude, they're gonna see this, right? They're gonna click one thing, and that's it. He's. They're gonna leave your website. Like, this is too much, bro. I like the website, right? But... Practically speaking, 
I don't think it's it's gonna serve the use you think it will. The only reason the last one would be a 5 over this one is because it was only one page. It was like everything was on one page. I didn't have to scroll anywhere. Very direct jumping to your face. Devon. Is that how you pronounce your name? Devon. Hello, I'm Devon Saklani. Very good website. Very good website. Very good website, man. Rate thumbnails. Bro, 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 bro. You see this here? Rate thumbnails. You made a typo, man. This is a huge typo, bro. In this app, you can add select judge thumbnails according to your liking. Add a thumbnail title and this app will show you the YouTube preview video. Wait, what? I need this app. How do I use this? Which one will you prefer? Oh, what? Wait, it's literally the same. Corporate asks you to spot the difference. Is this just like choosing random ones? Create? I feel like this could be good for creators. If you're a creator and you want to post new video, you can put like two thumbnails and titles here, and then you send this link to your Discord or your community, and they can click to see uh, which one they do it prefer. Why I like this is because straight away, right? Straight away, it goes into the projects. Boom, jump into it. We have an app. Boom, jump into it. We have another app. It's literally just jumping to your face of like what this guy did, right? What Devon did. It doesn't go into the BS of, oh, here are my technologies. Here are, you know, what I know. Here's about me. Well, there's an about me, but it's like pretty short. So I like this. What's the rating chat? Four? Four out of five? Okay, Loyer, a passionate blockchain. Damn, this website looks very legit. Float Capital, Tuffyverse, Short Prep. Okay, he's got some bunch of experience. I would put this experience thing above like the proficiency, some achievements. Yo, this guy has it all, man. I think this is pretty good, actually. Even though like I have to scroll a lot, how this website looks and feels makes me want to scroll down. It feels interactive. I scroll down. There's like a big bar, right? So it's like, oh, it jumps to your face. I like this one. I think this is a five chat. I will give this a five. I'm a 21 years old front end developer based in Iran. Let's see, skills projects about, this, this looks like an album type cover type, like Young Lean or something. My projects, oh my God, all these animations. You're a really good front end dev, I feel like. Yo, this is some pretty good shit, bro. Farhad, this, this is very smooth. Like the UI is very smooth. You scroll down right away, it gets into the projects. Yeah, this is a five for me, man. This is a five. If I was hiring a front-end dev and I saw this website, I would be pretty comfortable, like, at least for an interview, like. Crazy thing, everyone in the presence of Panthers is a W taker. Man, I, I don't even know how uh, I'm judging these guys because they all have better portfolios than me. Like, let's be honest. My f it sucks. All right, Mo. What? Weebs out, boys. E-girl portfolio. <laughs> My name is Mo. I'm a software engineer and this is my portfolio. Dude, I'm not gonna read all of this, bro. You have a really cute website, but this is too much text, bro. Some jinx, so we know you you play League. Not very good, okay? You don't play League. It's a very cute website, man. I, I'll i be lying if I say if I'd say I didn't like it. I would like to see the actual websites. If I can click on this, that will make a huge difference. Cause here it's only a picture. Text is less good than the actual app, always. All right, chat, what's the vote for this one? This is pretty split. We got some threes, we got some fives, we got some fours. You know, I would give this uh, a four out of five, but since like the, the links don't work, I can only give this a three. If you fix the links, this will be a four out of five. Brian Schnee, bro. First impressions are important. And when it comes to brands in the digital age, it all comes down to your website. You got a good smile. So I guess uh, Brian is like a contractor. The way I see it, chat, is there's mostly like two things, right? Or three. One is to apply for jobs. Two, to be like a contractor, right? To get a job. And three is if like you're in research or academia, which that we don't really care about. This type of website here, Brian that has, is more like a contractor thing. Like people come on here to ask him for, for work. He can still use this to apply for jobs, but it's less optimized for that. Let's see some of, some of his work. Ayesha Hair Salon. Oh no, there's no link. GitHub, 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 GitHub. We for web? Brian, are you putting some unfinished project on this? <laughs> I know it's cringe. I'm sorry. No, you, you don't have to apologize, bro. <laughs> it's not bad, bro. Not bad. It's just, I wish the projects, we can see some links, right? If the project's links were good, this would be like a decent, uh, a decent website to offer services. Do you have a video on portfolios? Uh, no, but this is going to be the video. So, um, so make sure to subscribe to the second channel.
If you guys ever feel bad about a portfolio website, just remember that mine, I did this in probably one hour. I downloaded a template of Google and I just replaced the, the text by my names and the links by my pictures of my project. I just took a screenshot. I, I did this two years ago. I never changed it. I can't even click on this because it doesn't work anymore. I just have this so I can put it in my resume and the HR lady is like, oh, click. Oh, this guy has a personal website, you know?